Hello everyone, and this is going to be a third rebu rebuttal to H.G. Nguyen's backstabbing oxymorons. He calls Ken Hovind a terrorist. Are you on meth? What in the blue blazes are you talking about? Ken Hovind is not a terrorist, like, he is trying to bring people back to the true definition and meaning in science and reason and uh, reality of science. And, and absolute truth and so on. He's showing people legitimate evidence, he's explaining stuff to them like a caring, kind and caring person. A real terrorist is Yasser Arafat who kept thwarting Israel, and I'm glad that Benjamin Netanyahu already saw him as a terrorist even though he was supposed to shake hands with him all the time. A terrorist, a normal terrorist is someone who runs into a Jewish store. <laughs> I dare say that even atheism is like terrorism to science, in all areas of science. Most branches of science were started by creationists, who knew, like, who knew the Lord, who like, almost like had a King James Bible, and were able to like, eat it all up and understand that uh, God's fingerprints can be found in, in nature. And the Bible supports science 100%, two verses. You know, Nebuchadnezzar took for himself like a uh, young cunning, uh, who are cunning in knowledge and understanding science. Um, uh, Paul explained legitimate, proper, unperverted science to Timothy in um, 1 Timothy 6.20, or 2 Timothy. Um, and so, like, saying stuff like that, Kent Hovind is a terrorist, uh, you're just, you're just complaining, sticking all, all to these sweeping statements, oxymorons, you just want to stick with the S word, F word, um, BS word, name calling. I tell you this, mister, if you almost got, like, no proper way of logically arguing, you've almost got no legitimacy or reason for being on YouTube. Who are you to come across, like, like, slandering this guy who legitimately tried giving all the evidence to you, which you are never almost, like, uh, properly shown in a, in a liberal biased classroom of a public school? I dare say, like, you're trying to say, oh, you have to get educated and social Darwinism, when that's a direct result you get from all these social ills of the theory of evolution, that they say, okay, so there is no God, we must be God, we decide the rules, etc. And uh, with you trying to, like, uh, I think you're kind of a tough cookie, you don't want to do a lot of this, this stuff, you just want to explain evolution to people. I dare say, a lot of people who might listen to you might feel depressed and go gothic and really, like, want to rob a store or a bank, and you really ought to stop teaching them evolutionism because it's a pseudo-scientific pseudo denialist theory. And, uh, and so, I, I really don't like how you put forth your words like that. Social Darwinism and like, uh, uh, when I'm trying to say I'm not a denialist. Yes, you are. I'm a denialist because you throw straw men at me and because the supposed evidence for evolution has been proven wrong, so I have no choice but to deny it.